Okay, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, real anti-nuke activists now, the guys that hold no punches, we don't commit violence and we don't break laws. We don't do those two things, but it's an awareness stage and we know we want to tell all about nuclear power. We ain't holding back nothing. Now, if you want to know all about nuclear power and the true story, you're going to go to either my WordPress blog or hatrickpenryunbound.com and I have this up as a front page article and what it is is my book is now in PDF form where you can go page by page. All you'll do is click on the link to Something Wicked This Way Comes. And it'll take a moment to load it up because it is 349 pages as it sits right now. And I just added a section on the president's worst case scenario slash president's source term. And I added a section on, oh gosh, this Japan earthquake and tsunami drill. Here we go, it's loading up. I added a section on the Japan earthquake and tsunami drill that occurred at exactly the same time as the real event, coincidentally. I've got that in the back with a bunch of information there. Okay, so you see here, the beautiful thing is on the second page of my book, Something Wicked This Way Comes, the story of Plumegate, the world's largest provable cover-up, the silver bullet that shut down nuclear power, the one that all the controlled opposition is ignoring this information. Look, you can go to the directory, Fear and Loathing on Fukushima Unit 4, page 180. Okay, we want to debunk what Arnie Gunderson and ABC News and Alex Jones and RT and all these other controlled opposition outlets are promoting. Type in page 180. Wait a second, that's in the wrong spot. Again, I am a amateur and I don't deny it. 180 on the page and hit return. There we go. Now we're on page 180, and this is Fear and Loathing on Fukushima Unit 4, where I completely debunk this fable, this fantastic tale that they're offloading fuel from Unit 4. Nothing could be further from the truth. We've proven this, and this massive disinformation ring continues to operate with impunity. Now why? Because this information is not getting out. They own a lot of players, perception management, shills, trolls, so on and so forth. And until this information is widely circulated and read by the American public, the NRC can still tour around the country as they're doing now with Brian Sharon and Jennifer Yule and tell the American citizens there were no heat ups to the spent fuel pools in Fukushima. That's actually what they're saying. Meanwhile, RT, Alex Jones, Arnie Gunderson and company are promoting this fuel offload tale, story, fantastic fable, which is absolutely not based in any reality whatsoever. So how are you going to debunk that? You're going to read my Fear and Loathing on Fukushima Unit 4, and you can scroll down now and take your time. Stop on a page if you get tired. Look, this next one will show the admission by the IAEA that we had a fuel fire the spent fuel pool for, what, nine hours and ten minutes. At the very least, we know that happened. It was described as rubble on the floor and a melt on the floor and so on and so forth. So about 60, 70 pages worth of documentation from the NRC Freedom of Information Act documents. That's what this book is all about, folks. 358 pages of truth. And as I say, it's in paginated format where you can stop at page 194 if you get tired of reading and return the next day until you've read this in its entirety and you are as familiarized with it as I am so you can assist me in getting this information out and be knowledgeable and well-rounded in this subject and articulate when it comes to speaking about it, you need to sound like you know what you're talking about, right? And you can know what you're talking about if you read this 358 pages. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Please do your best to promote this around. It's free. Again, I don't, I don't ask for money. I never have and I never will. I believe when it comes to that point where you are selling anything or asking for money, again, you, you're compromised already because money becomes more important than anything else. You become addicted to money just like we're addicted to oil and China's addicted to our water coming out of our Great Lakes region apparently, right? Okay, that's it. I've gone on too long. Promote the book around and I appreciate everybody's help who's doing their job. Patrick Penry, over and out.